Nearly a hundred days after the riots, two members of the Sutton Youth Parliament went to a conference held in Elephanton Castle to reflect on what had happened. Specifically, we were interested in investigating how young people were represented in the media at the time. The conference brought together journalists, lecturers and activists to dissect the carcass of the so-called Broken Britain. We quickly realised there were only a few young people there. Would you agree that the media as a whole, not just Sky News, uh, portrayed it as though it was just young people who were going out in the riots, 14 to 18 year olds, doing it for a laugh? Of course everyone has a different interpretation of how the media portrays a certain story. Um, we, as I say, used a lot of live pictures in the riots and live pictures are live. You can't editorialise them, you can't change them to fit a certain agenda. It's what's happening in one particular part of wherever you're looking at at that particular time. So I think that we showed that it was a mixture of people. There were an awful lot of young people who were involved in the rioting and saw it as a chance to go out. I was told of one 11 year old who was out involved in it because he was encouraged by older teenage boys to get involved. So I don't think we could ignore the fact that a lot of young people were involved, but it was a mix of people, as I've said. It was different people from different places, from different backgrounds, but there were an awful lot of young people involved. You can't get away from that. They don't want to give us that chance. They don't want to give us that chance. Right now, it's that they're in the future for young people. That's how I see it. During the conference, Tom Parmenter from Sky News showcased an extended interview he had produced for Sky called Looters. It was a 45-minute interview with three of the rioters. A lot of people wouldn't see any sense in what you were doing because it was outrageously wrong in a lot of people's eyes. The government are saying that it is utterly unacceptable and there's no reasoning behind it. Do you think there is any reasoning behind it? Every time I go out, yeah, I'll go Bromley, West End, I'll dress smart, the smartest I can. Hand out my CV, you know, talk the politest I can. But, nah, they ain't noticing me, so obviously if they ain't noticing me from that, I might have to start doing it a different way. The motivation for looters was unclear. Was it a platform for a spokesperson for the riots? If so, why were these three chosen? Were there more opinions that should have been heard? Why were their identities hidden to such an excessive extent? Did this interview mask the opinions of other young people? Today we're talking specifically about uh, the riots in the media, but we want to focus on uh, young people in the riots, so how do you feel they were represented? I think that typically young people were represented as being deviant, as being a problem. I think that they were reported mainly, as we saw, in masks or um, in hoods. I didn't see any voices of young people speaking you know, against what was going on. I didn't see any young people speaking up about the, the positives and how young people feel about the riots. What we had really was a sharp contrast between young people as a problem and then these authoritarian voices of usually white middle-aged men saying, young people, what's gone wrong, feral youth. Do you think it was objective? In what way? In that you were showing two sides? Yeah, okay. Um, the kind of basic principle that we always kind of work to is that you do have a balanced report at the end of the day and you hear from someone who the strike that's happening on Wednesday you hear from someone who's on the strike and you hear probably someone from the government or someone who's getting disrupted by the strike so you hear a bit of both on that one we because over that week that had followed the riots, there'd been so much on TV and different people kind of giving their opinions. Because we'd got the looters on camera and no one else had really done it, we made the decision that, well, let's just put it out there, let's just kind of show what we asked them, let's just show what, what it was and then take the debate on from there. So the next morning we had Eric Pickles, who is the community secretary, big Tory guy, who came in and, and did a kind of a, saying how disgraceful it was. So that was kind of the balance, so it's not necessarily always within one piece, but the balance was that those different voices then came into the debate off the back of what we'd filmed. Did America make addresses 
the youths. Not yeah. the people that are like the youths that are writing, just the youths, the youths, the youths. It's always these youths. So, so it's, the it's assumed that it's the majority of youths, the way they phrase it. And yeah. <laughs> and to be perfectly honest, there were a lot of adults in the rides, just saying. Yeah. The hall, filmed on a mobile phone in South London, is not connected to these four teenagers. The amount they took was far bigger. I know people that know people, so I got a van. I got you a had van. a van? So you were going around in a van, filling it up in different locations from different stores? Yeah, but we also dropped it off. Some so, so you were like, going back? The van got too full. We had to drop some stuff off, empty the van and then go back up. Right, um, do you have any idea, like a notion of who exactly you think were in the riots, whether it was mostly young people or it was mostly older people, uh, so on? Well, it's very difficult to tell if you're watching it through the lens of the media. As the start of an investigation into the riots, the debate was a useful exercise. However, we shouldn't consider it the final chapter. In order to get to the root of the problem, we need to speak to more young people instead of continually hearing from adults speaking on behalf of them. It shouldn't be an investigation into young people, but should be an opportunity for young people to express their views.